Hey guys, well, we're gonna unlock another fifth weapon, so the next three fifth weapons that we're gonna get all have nine votes, but the first one we're gonna do is Fushis. So, we're gonna go and play an original mode to get the fifth weapon. We're gonna go to the Battle of Wong Castle. We're gonna play under Zhang Xu's forces, and obviously play as Fushi. And, there we go. Well, let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to make this quick because every time I fail, whether it's by messing up a lot on sentences or by losing the battle, this has to be the hardest fifth weapon I went for. Um, what I mean by that is I already got it. I haven't unlocked it once you see the weapons, but I've got it. I mean, I know what you have to do. Um, yeah, so it's really difficult, this stage. I mean... Part of it is triggering Sao Sao's uh, escape scene. Well, not the escape cut scene, because obviously if you do that, you lose. But basically, you have to defeat the DM way. But I'll go into more details of my miserable, miserable attempts at this fifth weapon. After I actually unlocked it the first time, which is the funny part. Anyway, we know the intro. We know the conditions. The equipment. The weapon. We have the fourth weapon. There you go. The items, we finally unlocked the Musu armor. So, for anyone that wants to know how to unlock the Musu armor, well, you notice that there are combo points in Extreme Legends. Well, that's a new system. Well, when you get combo points, well, how to get combo points is you have to do multiple combos, variety of combos, at a quick pace without fail. So, you need an accumulative total of 12,000 combo points to get the Musu armor. Um, when you're going for it, obviously the question mark will be here and not here. But I'm using it as an example since there's one left. When you see the question mark, if you see it flashing blue, that means you have less than 9,000 combo points to go. If you see it flashing yellow, less than 6,000. When you see it flashing red, less than 3,000. Then once you hit that 3,000 combo points, at the end of the stage, it'll pop up automatically. I mean, when you get it, you won't know, and it's not like it will show a special item has appeared and it will be in any map. Um, that's not the case. Once you get it and you complete the stage, then you'll see it pop up. Um, yeah, so anyway, with all that said and done, let's get the rest of the items. We're not using the Tiger Amulet, which is a slight shock, because there are archers in this battle. A lot of them. Um, I think you already know because I've gone for New War's fourth weapon. It's really bad. So I am using the Musa armor, which is probably the best item for Extreme Legends. Well, in the Extreme Legends uh, expansion. And the shell armor. So, there we go. Bodyguards. We're going to use the Royals one more time. And then we're going to go to Wu's forces. Well, Wu's forces, Wu's guards. And, um... If I don't have them at max, they will definitely have 8 at the end of it. So, anyway, let's go back. Enough of the ramble. <laughs> let's finally do this and not fail for, what, the umpteenth time. And yes, I'll say this to you right now. Every single time I failed after getting the fifth weapon the first time was pretty much the same cause. Okay, so, to get Fushi's fifth weapon, which is really difficult on paper, just by itself, um, you know what, let me say this, this is what I saw, and I was trying to, f this is another reason why I failed, um, and that was, when I read the fifth weapon conditions, I saw two different fifth weapon conditions, because I wanted to make sure it was right, because the first time I went for it, 
it was a bit strange. So I wanted to make sure once I did it the second time if there was another way to get it. And I saw two different things. The first one was defeating the Mwei, Shu Zhu, and Shu Huang. That's it. Didn't say in any order, none of that. Unless all this was a glitch on my end because I've done it twice, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is what I saw, this is what I did, and this is what I'm telling you what happened. So I went for Shu Zhu and Shu Huang first because if you defeat the M Wei, Sao Sao will start to retreat. And that's the part pretty much every time after I got the uh, fifth weapon the first time was the cause of me losing because Sao Sao retreated. I'll go into that later. Yeah, that's really bad. Um, so yeah, I tried that and I saved the end way for last and it didn't pop up. I did it twice and it didn't pop up. So you have to go for the end way first. Like I said, unless this is a glitch that just happened on my end and it works for you guys, then that's fine. But I'm telling you what I'm doing. And in the description, I'm gonna, well, in detail, I'm going to show you, well, tell you what I did. So I'm going to go for DM Wei first, then go for Shu Huang and Shu Shu. And that doesn't matter, well, with those two, it doesn't matter how you, you could go for Shu Huang first, you could go for Shu Shu first. It doesn't matter to me. But you have to go for DM Wei first, out of all three. So, anyway, enough of the ramble. Let's finally do some hacking and slashing, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I just let them attack me like that, just because I can. Yeah, I totally forgot that I had a Musu gauge up at max already. There we go. And I gotta be cheap. I need to be cheap. Okay, that's one down. Fire! This is as far as you go. All right, let's find out where Shu Huang is. Crap, he's in dead center. And what I mean, yeah, what I mean by that, uh, basically, this fifth weapon run for me feels like it's all RNG based. The AIs have to be basically moving properly. Yeah, they have to move properly in the right fashion to make it really easy. But it's usually hard. Nine times out of ten, it's gonna be hard. Because if you get close enough, Sao Sao will start to move. Beat me if you can. So, when I got the fifth weapon... Anyway, when I got the fifth weapon, I defeated Shu Huang first. Yeah, because every time I face Shu Shu, he winds up being with other officers. Shu Huang included, whoa. So, fortunately for me, I have Shu Shu by himself with a bunch of troops. But let's see how long that lasts. Because my luck isn't the best in the world. Oh yeah. And once Sao Sao starts to move, you, you gotta be quick. You really need to be quick because he will weasel his way through. And what I mean weasel, you'll see it when he starts to move. And when you go for it, when you see him pass Hu Chi Er, you're pretty much screwed. I 
Yeah, and at the moment, I don't know how to stop him. And I might have to learn something on my own right now. So we defeated Shuju. Whoa. Alright. So yeah, we defeated Shuju. Let's try to be careful here. Let's not have Sao Sao weasel his way through. Because if he does, we're fucked. Oh, man. So yeah, I might accidentally, well, not accidentally, but I might be learning something right now on how to prevent Sao Sao from retreating. Uh, which I, of course he went that way, but you know, I'll make do. Hopefully he doesn't retreat. If he retreats, then we're screwed. Because he will weasel his way through here. And that's pretty much every other reason why I died. Well, I lost. Because he retreated. And, uh, it's not fun. I've seen it happen with Sao Sao God knows how many times. And I've seen it happen with Liu Bei on Chung Ban when I was playing for fun. So, it can happen. But it looks like he's not... I don't want to jinx... Ugh, I just jinxed it. He's moving now. Again. You know what? Let's try to hurt him a little bit. Because if he gets hurt, maybe he won't move. I don't know. I just have to play the odds now. And I want to make sure I defeat Shu. Sorry, I have to pause it multiple times. I want to make sure where Shu Huang is. Okay, he's over there. So if I lure him over here. It is unfortunate to kill one of such skill. Maybe I just have to approach Cao Cao? I don't know. I'm just doing wild guesses. Dolly, won't you cross swords with me? Alright, enough with the volleyballing. Seriously. Hopefully that will cause another... There we go. Because we gotta do this quick. But I don't know how long it's gonna take for us to... Well, take the South out to retreat, if he does retreat. But we need to be rapid fast. Without losing my balance. Alright, hopefully that'll finish him off. There we go. Now find my horse. Oh, and by the way, I'm pausing it for a good cause. Um, as you saw, I was getting up on the horse, and I was getting hit by arrows, and I was still on the horse. Well, the Musu armor basically, it's basically equivalent of the Golden Harness, because it says prevents being knocked back while getting hit by, or when getting hit by an arrow. Um, if you charge towards an archer pack, like if you're running towards them and they hit you, you're going to keep on moving. You won't flinch or anything like that. Also, like I said before, if you get on a horse, you'll get hurt, but you won't get knocked off. That's basically what the Golden Harness does. So, basically, it's a two-for-one. Well, that's what I'm seeing anyway, and I didn't know that. And I'm glad I did, because it's even more useful than I thought it would be. So anyway... We must be triumphant. We'll get a bolt towards the fifth weapon and grab the health. And then go back to Sao Sao. We have to be fast on this. I mean, we have to because if we were if we're slow, then Zhang Xiu will get killed because he gets killed pretty quickly. Um, if we let Sao Sao run away, then obviously we lose. Uh, maybe uh, which way is he? If he's going, around, I know what he's doing. I know exactly what he's doing. He's going around. 
yeah, like I said, he will try to weasel his way through. So we need to be quick. I'm gonna catch up to him. And if he's with troops of mine, then we'll be fine. And if you see him start to move, then you might have to skip and take a huge risk on Zenji and Zhang Liao because you will get screwed over and Cao Cao will retreat. If Shu Huang's in a set location, I think, okay, it wasn't the first stairs that we passed on the left side, it was the second stairs, uh, I'm sorry, it wasn't the second stairs, the first stairs you see. Uh, yeah, so the first stairs that you see, uh, on the left side going around, if you see Shu Huang there for some weird reason, then you'll be fine because it won't trigger the reinforcements, which will be the reason why Cao Cao will start the run. The real reason. And uh, looks like he's starting the run and I'm not letting him. So we can't run away here. We can't run away at all. And also, look the fuck out for his death element attack. Excuse my language, but his death element attack is brutal. Okay, as long as nothing funny happens, we fine. Well, I messed up the combo, but that's fine too. Goodbye? Yes! Oh my god. And that's a win. Oh my god. Final fucking Lee. Ho holy shit. Excuse my language, but... <sighs> I wish I would do a fail montage on this particular stage, but every single time I failed was because Salazar retreated. And I don't think that'll be any fun. If it was a if it was a death montage, then that'll be something else. But I'm not gonna be showing off failed attempts of me losing just because Sal Sal got to the end, because obviously that's boring. So anyway, that took us seven minutes and thirty seven seconds. We had to be well, we have to be fast on that one because he was starting to run away. So, we had to skip Zhang Liao and Zenji. If you do what I did, then you'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, that's... Wow, I don't even know how many fifth weapons we unlocked now. But here's our fifth weapon, the Dragon Slayer. And it has no element, has a move to max at 86, HP max at 80, reach at 28, charge of 8, and also has the item, the Art of War, which basically doubles your battle axe and battle armor upgrades so instead of uh 30 seconds i think it's a third for this one i'm not so sure uh, i'll look it up try to get the jitters off me <laughs> yeah so just give me a second <laughs> Oh man. And we didn't get any combo points, obviously, and I don't really care because we already got the Musu armor. So, yeah. Well, I'm gonna do what I checked, uh, what I see online, even though for the fact that I read the fifth weapon conditions and they weren't really as accurate. Um, what it does is doubles the length of the battle axe and the battle armor. That's what it does. Well, this is what I see here. Um, I'll put it in the description if I'm incorrect for a three, because I have a feeling it was by a third. But I could be wrong. I'll make sure, uh, I'll put it in the description if I was right or wrong with that. But for now, let's just complete the stage. Oh, legitimately save. That way I actually have the fifth weapon and I'll have to do it again. Holy shit. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures. And I'll see you in the next part where we will unlock another fifth weapon. Peace.